The YouTube channel Fern made a video about how communists made super strong glasses. Zupa fest. Like so strong, you can drop them on most floors and they won't break. Naturally, I wanted to get one myself. Well, Superfest is super expensive online. Oh, it smells so bad. I also noticed all it took to make was bathing a normal glass in potassium nitrate, which happens to melt at 650 degrees Fahrenheit. And since normal ovens go all the way up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, I figured it probably wouldn't be too hard to get to that temperature. So I got to work. That's a problem. Nine months ago. How? It took way too much time and way too many iterations. It always starts with some simple math. You think, oh, it doesn't take that much rock wool to maintain a temperature of 650 degrees Fahrenheit. This should be easy. Well, don't be fooled. Trying to perfect an industrial process in your backyard is never as easy as it initially seems. First off, I actually needed to have the nitrate at 850 degrees Fahrenheit, and when Wikipedia says you can't get potassium nitrate that hot, you don't know what to trust. You're wrong, Wikipedia. Second, when you try to find local chemical suppliers and you can only find quote-unquote research chemical suppliers, they sell roids. It makes things even more difficult. And also, if you learned a lot in the process, it probably means the process took a really long time. So here are some of the things I learned. To start, kiln heating wire is too flimsy to use easily. That's a problem. Putting an electric stove heater underneath the $10 Walmart pot is a much better idea. All right, so let's see what went wrong. Also, being able to buy something as niche as high temperature porcelain electric terminals at will is a modern miracle. Third, chunks of rock wool falling into your molten nitrate bath is not okay and will contaminate your bath with calcium ions, which apparently poison the bath and make weak glasses. Fourth, aluminum foil will stop rock wool from falling in off the edges of the this thing, and it won't burn. And last, this one really got me. When in a hot environment, potassium nitrate will evaporate very slowly and recondense on the cooler areas near the edges, oh, like your electrical terminals. And also, liquid potassium nitrate just so happens to be electrically conductive. This is a problem because it makes a short between your electric terminals and fries them. Glass. Ah, uh, yeah. Although, it seemed the short piece of steel pipe and a lot of furnace cement did the trick in protecting electrical parts. Alright, let's try this bad boy out. In the end, when you take all the things I learned and put them together with lots of tests at many different temperatures and lengths of time, an applied science video, and some academic slideshows, you get some really strong glasses. Here's a better clip. 70 inches? About those many tests. You see, it wasn't just learning a lot of things that took a lot of time. It was also fumbling around in the dark trying to optimize duration and temperature while not being able to find any good information online because manufacturers like to keep their secret recipes secret, or at least that's my theory. I kept getting glasses that would be slightly stronger, which showed me that the process was technically working. Five inches. Seven inches. But those were disappointing. Initially, I kept pushing the cooking time longer and longer, thinking I didn't have it in long enough based on this random graph I found at some university's material science course. When I finally saw an applied science video where he put his sample in his oven for only an hour, so I took a hint to shorten my cooking times and only left the glasses in for four hours. It fell from one and a half times higher than a normal glass. Glass with no treatment, 20 inches. 30 inches, which was way better than anything I'd achieved already, and gave me the hope that I might actually be able to make something that could be useful. The next run I did had the uh, terminals short and fry, 
So I just kind of left them in for four and a half hours while the nitrate cooled down from 850 to 650 degrees. And those batches glasses fell from four feet and six feet high respectively. 46 inches. 70 inches. Which was something that was actually useful. So it meant that leaving the glasses in for too long actually made them weaker. So I settled on that recipe of an hour or two at 850 degrees Fahrenheit and that worked perfectly. That's how I got this glass. Fun fact, if the glasses cool down too quickly, they crack. Especially if one part of the glass cools down quicker than another. Say if you put it down on a piece of ceramic. So to solve that, I turned my oven on high all the way to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and cooled the glasses down in my oven. Taking my delicious pie out of the oven from but I've finally done it. With $1 beer glasses and the power of hot salts, I have created Walmart Fest, an unholy combination of capitalism and communism. I've taken Walmart glasses and I have turned them into something that might outlive me. Potassium nitrate is an anvil.